Well, I have my leading edge installed, and believe it or not, I've never built a leading edge before because every single wing that I've restored or built from scratch has had, I've had a good used leading edge that I could just glue on, and that's a lot of work to, that you save there. And of course, building the leading edge is after you have the geodetic put on it. It's nice and stiff, flat, straight, and I'll go through the process based on the Fisher plans. First you glue the W10 and W11 uh, leading edge spars onto the front of the ribs. Of course the top one has the angle on it coming off the top radius of, of the rib. And once you're, while you're waiting for these spars to dry, you can come back here and build your compression strut. And of course, once you build your compression strut, you got your vertical there, you got a vertical here, and then this here one, and your linear ones, and then you go ahead and put your pulley braces in you bolt them to the vertical part of your compression strut. And once your leading edge spars are dry, then you take your ribs, false ribs, and they're, they should be all trimmed up and ready to go. You slide your false ribs in and glue them in, clamping them to the to the uh, top of the leading or you don't have the leading edge yet that's right to the spars after that you go ahead and put your nose caps on normally the nose caps would be right in front of the ribs but this is a used rib so or used leading edge so everything doesn't line up perfectly once you get the nose caps put on then you can go ahead and wrap your leading edge around. Now some of your nose caps need to be a quarter inch wide instead of an eighth and that is places where you splice the leading edge material. 